So who is right? If one person is right, then the other person is wrong. And that's really kind of how conflict begins. Now, pretty much you can get away with it if there's a factual answer to a question or an issue. And I acknowledge that people do argue about facts. <laughs> but in general, when there's an, uh, a verifiable fact, then reasonable people generally will um, acknowledge that. So, but what about a difference of opinion, a difference of preference or perspective? What about a difference to manage with someone over time? For instance, what if one person is an outdoor person and loves outdoor sports, and the other person is kind of a um, homebody, and they love books and computers? That might be a difference to manage. Uh, that's not a specific problem that you're going to solve. So the thing about conflict is that the other person is likely to be sure that you are wrong and they are right. Pointing it out is probably not going to change them because they are just as invested in their rightness, is that a word, as you are in your rightness. So they're invested in terms of their emotions and thoughts and, and beliefs and convinced about what they believe and you are the same. So just telling somebody that they're wrong won't change a thing. So how can we peaceably resolve impasse? My suggestion is a bridge that sh gives mutual respect and credibility to each person so that is to say, uh, perspective A and perspective B is different than perspective A or perspective B, because then you have a loser. So having my view or my perspective or my needs at your expense is not a resolution. So I'm sure you can figure out that a lasting resolution or something that's durable over time that both people will sign up for has to have mutual benefit. There has to be something in it for you and something in it for me or it's not going to work over time. So disagreements can be resolved and managed when they're based on the bridge built with respect, respect and trust. And dialogue is part of that where you're talking with someone, not at someone or to someone, but with someone, showing them respect and acknowledgement of their perspective or beliefs. Or um, You may or may not disagree, or you may or may not agree, that's not the point, but to show somebody the respect um, is to build a bridge. Unresolved conflict, when you don't do this, will fester. And when things fester, they will turn into resentment and distance. So being right is not all it's cracked up to be because you're likely to have the end of a relationship or a very negative one. So if you have thoughts or comments or questions about this I, or anything in the newsletter, I'd love to have you visit toughtalkcoach.com and be in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.